Ladies and gentlemen, gather around, for I bring you a message of monumental importance. The news I have today is nothing short of extraordinary. So extraordinary, in fact, that I must emphasize its significance by saying it's unbelievable, not once, but twice. And believe me, I could repeat it a hundred times, for this news truly defies belief. Can Africa's rich resources help it shift to green energy? Burkina Faso has made a bold move by completing its hydroelectric power station. This marks the start of a new energy path for Africa, promising a brighter economic future and better quality of life for locals due to its safety. But how smooth will this transition be? And what does this project signify now? The recent completion of Burkina Faso's hydroelectric power station is a major milestone. This project aims to revolutionize the country's energy sector, providing reliable, sustainable energy, boosting economic development, and improving citizens' lives. The idea for this station was part of Burkina Faso's strategy to diversify energy sources and reduce reliance on fossil fuels by harnessing its abundant water resources to generate clean electricity. Feasibility studies assessed water flow and environmental impact. The planning phase involved collaboration between local and international experts, government agencies, and private partners. Detailed blueprints and environmental assessments ensured the project's safety and minimal ecological impact. Construction was divided into key phases, starting with the dam, which involved extensive excavation and advanced engineering to ensure structural integrity. Next was building the power station with turbines, generators, and transformers to convert water's kinetic energy into electricity. Finally, infrastructure for the power station's operation was built including access roads, water channels, and housing for staff, along with control and monitoring systems for efficient and safe operation. Stakeholder involvement was crucial, with regular meetings with officials, community leaders, and environmental groups to ensure transparency and build trust. International partners provided technical expertise and funding, recognizing the project's potential for regional stability and economic development. The United States, on the other hand, faces a nickel supply issue. It relies heavily on imports, which is risky given the rising demand for nickel in electric vehicles and clean energy. Despite having one nickel mine, the U.S. could face supply shortages, as global dynamics shift and countries like China and Russia challenge the U.S.-centric world order. Alaska Energy Metals, a leader in nickel mining, presents a potential investment opportunity. The company's shares are currently undervalued, and with its extensive nickel resource, there's potential for significant market cap growth as it advances its projects. Back to Burkina Faso, the inspection phase of the hydroelectric power station ensured its safety and effectiveness, involving detailed assessments of all components and systems. Engineers, environmental scientists, and inspectors conducted thorough evaluations leading to the plant's authorization to begin operations. The hydroelectric power station, with an annual capacity of 18 gigawatts, utilizes advanced technology and infrastructure to ensure efficient and sustainable electricity generation. The project, costing $425 million, was funded through government grants, international loans, and private investments. This project promises significant economic benefits for Burkina Faso, creating jobs, boosting local industries, and supporting economic growth. It also offers environmental benefits by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting sustainable water management. Future plans include expanding the power station's capacity and integrating it into regional power networks, enhancing energy security and cooperation in West Africa. Ongoing research and development will focus on maintaining the station's efficiency and sustainability, 